How is it going everybody? You're watching the Naval Tech and today I'm going to talk about a very common but extremely annoying iPhone issue. Today I'm going to talk about unexpected shutdowns on your iPhone. So an unexpected shutdown happens when you're using your iPhone normally and you still have 10, 20, 30% of battery life or even more and it just shuts down. It turns off automatically even though you didn't do anything you were just using your iPhone and then it turns off automatically so this is naturally a problem this is an issue and in this video I'm gonna tell you what causes unexpected shutdowns and of course and most importantly how to fix this problem so without further ado let's begin and I want to start off this video with a quick fix, a temporary fix for when you're using your iPhone, it is shuts down like that. Again, this is not the actual fix. I'm going to give you the actual fix in a few minutes. So hold on. But right now I'm going to give you the quick fix for when you're using your iPhone, the problem happens and you just need to reboot your iPhone and use it normally. Okay. So it's important that you learn the quick fix as well. So. If you're using your iPhone and it shuts down, there are pretty much two ways to force restart your iPhone. And the easiest method is number one, which is just plugging your iPhone to the charger. So if your iPhone has like 20% of battery and it dies, and if you plug into your iPhone, in 99% of cases, it'll just reboot with those 20%, okay? So it'll just force restart. But of course, sometimes you don't have a charger on you. Sometimes you're going out, you don't have a charger, so how can you actually force restart without a charger? And it's super easy as well, because there are some methods you can do this. Please keep in mind that it varies a little bit depending on your iPhone model, so that's why I'm gonna have it here on the screen, okay? A diagram, an image, showing you how to do this for all devices. So if you have an iPhone 8, in newer, including the iPhone SE 2, what you're gonna do is actually press and let go the volume up, press and let go the volume down, press and hold, and then you're gonna keep holding the side button. If you have an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you're actually gonna need to press and hold the side button and the volume down at the same time and keep holding again until you see the Apple logo. And if you have an older iPhone like an iPhone 6S, SE first generation and older, you're gonna actually need to press and hold the power button which will be right here at the top or on the side and the home button, okay? So you're gonna need to press both of them at the same time, so power and home and keep holding until you see the Apple logo, okay? As I said, I have images here on the screen showing you all the process and I'm gonna have it in the description as well if you wanna take a look and practice, okay, uh, in more detail with more time, all right? So, as I said, those are quick fixes, temporary fixes for when you are on the road, when it happens and you just need to reboot your iPhone. This will not fix the problem, okay? What will fix the problem is what I'm gonna tell you right now. Let's go. So there are actually three main causes for why your iPhone is shutting down unexpectedly. And reason number one is actually a really outdated iPhone. So sometimes your iPhone is running a very old version of iOS, like iOS 12, iOS 13, iOS 14, it happens, so sometimes you're running a really, really old version and then you're having problems because of this. So this is just a software bug because you're running an old version. So what I recommend you to do is just update your iPhone normally. So go to your settings, software update, check if there's an update available and update your iPhone. So if your iPhone is really outdated, maybe this will just do the trick as easy as that. Now, reason number two is actually if your storage is really full, and keep in mind I'm talking about the iPhone internal storage, not iCloud, the iPhone internal storage. So if your iPhone storage is pretty much full or it's completely full and you're getting those error messages like iPhone full storage, iPhone storage is full, if you're getting those messages, there's a high probability that that's what's causing the issue. So what I recommend you to do is clear your iPhone storage as easy as that. And I have full dedicated videos right here on the channel where I explain you how to do this step by step, how to clear a ton of your iPhone storage. Sometimes it's system data, sometimes it's your photos, and it's so, so easy to clear many, many gigs of storage, and then you're gonna fix the issue. And third reason why you're getting those annoying and expected shutdowns, and the most common reason why, is actually your battery being old. That's right, if your iPhone is more than one and a half, two or three years old, sometimes that's the reason. 
your iPhone battery is just old. And the easiest way to know if that's the case is just simply go into your settings, battery, and then you're gonna go to battery health, and then by maximum capacity, you'll see a number which is in percentage, and then if this number is around 80%, so it's like 80, 81, 82, 83, or lower than that, then that's definitely the reason because when your iPhone battery gets closer to 80% of its maximum capacity, this is an extremely common thing to happen because your battery can't handle peak performance anymore. So it's so degraded, it's so old that it just can't keep up with iOS, it can't keep up with the peak performance of your iPhone, and then when you're using your iPhone normally as you would, it just shuts down because it can't handle it as easy as that. So then if that's your case, the only thing you can do is literally replace your battery. So go ahead, go to an Apple store or contact Apple and then go ahead and replace your battery and then it'll fix the problem, I guarantee. Of course, if your iPhone is already old and you're already planning on replacing your iPhone, maybe it's a good idea to just go ahead and upgrade and get a better, newer iPhone. But if you still wanna keep this iPhone with you, just replace the battery and you're gonna have one, two more years without this problem, that's guaranteed. Now, to wrap it up and to finish this video, I just wanna give you two extra very important tips that can help you out a lot, especially if your problem is on the battery and maybe you don't have the money on you right now to replace the battery or get a new iPhone, so those two final tips will help you out a lot. So what you can do is use low power mode because when you use low power mode, you actually bring down a little bit on your iPhone speed and performance and how much your iPhone actually demands of your battery. And this will help you a lot when you're talking about unexpected shutdowns. So if you wanna buy some time and if you wanna keep using your iPhone, this is a very good tip, use low power mode. And another thing that could help you as well is resetting your iPhone. You can go ahead, go to your settings, reset your iPhone, and then sometimes by resetting it, you clear a few parameters, the RAM memory, background activity, and sometimes it gives a brand fresh new life to your iPhone that will help you with the problem as well. Again, using low power mode and resetting your iPhone won't fix the problem, but it may help you, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's how to actually fix unexpected shutdowns on your iPhone, now you know, now you know what you need to do, okay? So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye-bye, guys.